The union is you. I want to introduce to you a man that I've had the privilege of working with now for about 12 years. And as I said, when I called and asked for support, he said, whatever it takes, whatever it takes for Local 270, whatever it takes for the men and women that suffered this horrible, horrible defeat of weather and wind and water, whatever we can do to help rebuild the lives. He was here the first day. He did some things that the President of the United States couldn't do, and that was reach out and help. He is here today to show his support. He is here today to meet with his organizers, his future negotiators in this uh, contract negotiations. He is here because he is union. I want to introduce General President Jim Hoffa. Thank you. Thank you very much. Let me pull this thing out of here. Thank you. How you doing? Hold on here. We got a little problem here. I'm much better have handle this thing in my hand. It's so good to see all of you. And you know, this is about laid law. It's about you. But let me tell you a story about the disaster about Katrina, I want to share it with you. Because this is my fifth trip down here. We're not strangers to here. When this disaster happened, we were right on board and thanked this man here, Willie Smith. Because when the disaster happened, we talked. And he says, I said, what can we do for all of our brothers and sisters down there? And he said, we got such a disaster, you can't believe it. And I, he says, uh, well, I said, what can we bring? Do we bring water? Do we bring blankets? He said, bring money. I said, money? What do you mean? He said, the ATMs aren't working. He said, our people don't have any money. And we put together $500 debit cards, and we handed out $25,000 to all of our people down here, our Teamsters here. Thank you, Willie. That's what it's about. It's about money. It's about real money. We can go on, and I can tell you the story about Dina Benoit, who's our UPS steward in Gulfport, a great lady, a young woman. And she talked to me about what she did. And she told a story that was unbelievable. She said, when the storm came, I was so scared. It was dark. The water was rising. I didn't know what to do. And she said, I didn't hear from FEMA. I didn't hear from Homeland Security. I didn't hear from the Red Cross. But she said, in the darkest night, my cell phone rang. She said it was my union, and they wanted to know if I was OK. And she said, God bless the Teamsters Union. She said, they cared about me. They cared about me, and no one else cared about me. She said, my phone never rang. And then she said, the next day, I didn't know what to do. I didn't have food. I didn't have blankets. I didn't have ice. I couldn't even recharge my cell phone. And she said, I went down to the shopping mall where everybody was gathering, and she said, I drove down there, and what did I see? A big Teamsters semi that said Teamsters on the side, and it was full of food and all the things we needed to survive. She said, God bless the Teamsters Union. And Dina Benoit did that, and she's a great lady. And she's a great lady. But you know, I say one thing, and maybe the nation's forgotten, but no one down here has forgotten. You know, only a guy by the name of George Bush could have turned a national disaster into a national disgrace. And he should be ashamed of himself for what he does. And you don't hear him talking about it. He don't even talk about it anymore because you're out of sight, out of mind. There are no votes down here for him. And as long as he's doing that, and he better not come down here for any votes because we ain't voting for him or any of his people. We're putting people in that care about us. That's what it's about. I'm telling you, we've been down here and we're working hard. But now we're talking about laid law. Laid law. Anybody happier with laid law? I didn't think so. You wouldn't be here. You know, let me tell you something about the Teamsters Union. I'm so proud of what we're doing because we are the largest union in the public employee when it comes to private 
bus drivers, and public, and public employees, we represent more people at First Student and at Laidlaw. We have 7,000 people under contract at Laidlaw. And we know what you're going through, and we know what they did down here. And they think that you're happy because they gave you a few bucks. But they took everything away from you. And what we're talking about, restoring that. And what you need is a union that is powerful in the private school bus sector. And we are the number one union. And it's about you. It's, you know, I always tell people, is this about Jimmy Hoffa? No, it ain't about me. Is it about Dave? Not about Dave. Not about Willie. No one cares about you. Because you're the ones out there working. You're the ones suffering. You're the ones that don't have what you need. And it's about what are you going to do about it? Well, you've got a chance to do something about it. And the question is whether you're going to stand up or not. Are you going to stand up and say, hey, I'm proud to be who I am. And I'm not taking it anymore. There's a movie that used to be called Network. And they used to go around. There was a guy that would say, well, if you're mad, go out, open the window and yell out, I'm mad as hell and I'm not going to take it anymore. Well, that's what we're going to do on Wednesday. We're going to say we're mad as hell and we're not going to do it anymore. Let's be out and go for the Teamsters. That's what it's about. That's what we're talking about. We're talking about that. You know, we're talking about health care. Man, they took your health care away. Anybody need health care? Oh, man, you can't live in America on health care. They took your paid vacation away. You can't even get a paid sick day. What do you need? Sick days. What do you need? Vacation pay. You know what the biggest thing you need? You need dignity on the job. It's about dignity because when they don't give it to you, they don't respect you. When they think you're going to work all day and not have a paid vacation, they don't respect you because the boss has it. The girl in the office has it, but you don't have it. And the answer is, we're going to take it back from them. And if we don't take it back, who the hell are we? We got a chance. We've been through Katrina. Now we're facing late law. You know what? Wednesday is the day of decision. Now, I want to show here, and I know we got a good crowd here. Raise your hand if you're going to vote for the Teamsters. Whoa! 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 All right! Now we're talking. Now we're talking. But what? But you know what? You're, you're here, you're here and you're committed. Now we got to go back and talk to the other brothers and sisters that kind of say, you know what, we're in a battle for our lives. You know, are, are we mice or are we men? Are we going to stand up? This is America. This is New Orleans. It's got a new birth of freedom. Are we going to stand up on Wednesday? And that's what we're all about. But everybody here has got a job to do. Now, everybody's not here. There's 400 people. But every one of you knows your coworkers. You know the brothers and sisters you work for, that maybe they were afraid to come here. Maybe they think, I don't have time for this. But they want the benefits. Yeah. And the answer is, you got to go back and say, hey, I'm going to vote. We should give you a button like that. Wear it at work. Right. And you say, hey, I went to the meeting. We got a chance to change our lives. We got a chance to do something for my family. I got a chance to do something for my children for my husband. I got a chance to do something for me. And you know what? It's going to be a fabulous day. And when you walk into that polling place, you're going to pull the lever and you're pulling it for yourself. Are we going to win Wednesday? Yeah. Are we going to have the teams in late law? Yeah. Well, let's get together and do it. Thank you very much. Teamsters! 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 Teamsters!